depends on the individual. Being happy, that's beautiful because it's from the inside out. You fully inhabit who you really are and you're comfortable in yourself. Like liking the way you look, like regardless if other people don't. Every day is so wonderful, suddenly. It's hard to breathe. Now and then I get insecure from all the fame. I'm so ashamed. You are beautiful no matter what they say. Words can bring you You are beautiful in every single way. Yes, words can bring you down. Um, the modeling industry des defines beauty as a skinny person, basically. That's what I've got from it. Um, I mean, a lot of makeup, um, straight hair, light skin. The industry has standards, and the standards can be um, being African American, color, even Asians. Um, no one, I was just reading an article not too long ago about 78% white models book more run ratios, 9% of mo black models book, book shows, 2% of Asian, and maybe 3% of Hispanics. And those numbers are not great. The majority of people don't look like the idea, ideal image of beauty, so. Um, I think it's a way of getting people to buy products to look more like the person or a person that was being advertised. The consumers. Mm -hmm. The consumers are really important. So they have to make sure that they're targeting the right to, the right to, the right to consumers and putting out the products that we want to purchase. So that plays a part in that. It's all about what kids want, you know, what like, and you know, different things like that. Entertainment, music, all those things are what that generation pretty much likes to do. So that influences. They just want to spend your money. They want. They want you to spend your money. They want to make sure that you're spending your money. That's all. I mean, people watch TV, so they begin to believe, like I said, what they see. And I think because the media does black does blast them on television, you begin to f believe that this is what you're supposed to look like. You know, and that's why so many people are getting surgeries because they're supposed to be small or they're supposed to be, you know. So of course the media plays a big role in how people feel. You know, I'm a, I'm a model of color. Um, yes, it's difficult. It's more hard. I have to work harder. Um, that's just the way it is. It's kind of sad though, but that's how it is. I've been on some castings where they didn't exactly like that my hair was curly. I had to straighten it to to be there. So. I mean, my hair isn't straight naturally, so why would I have to do that? Um, also, my weight, um, I was told that I was too big or like, um, my backside was too big, basically. Um, so I had to lose weight for it. And also, my nose. They co actually contoured my nose to look smaller, but that's my natural nose, so why wouldn't I'd be able to just have it like that, you know? So buyers and casting directors sometimes, you know, clients are like, I don't want to see any black people. And it's all honestly, you know, they'll say it like that. You may, they might, the casting director might not, the, the booking agent might not tell you that, though, but that's what they're telling the casting directors. They'll be like, listen, we, we're not interested. I mean, when I go to casting sometimes, I see that there's a lot of Caucasian women there. And I guess it, even though it shouldn't, it does kind of make me feel like I have less of a chance of getting the position because of my skin tone and that I'm not that late. And my hair is curly as well. It's all about pretty people. I, I believe that. Not saying that way, but somebody wants to look at somebody who's good looking. And it's all, it's, it's, to be honest, that's what they're looking for, somebody to be appealing, more appealing. They want you to be able to catch that attention, be able to catch someone's attention. It's not every day I'm on a set, but the good thing is that I'm able to go out on the casting and be seen.
and that's a good thing because a lot of other models don't get to be seen a lot of times. It's like, are you going out on calls? They'll be like, no, I'm not going out on any calls. I'm like, wow, it's kind of. But at the end of the day, I can say that at least I go out on calls, and that's a good thing. Me growing up so dark, of course they called me all types of names. I was like, when I get older, the first thing I'm doing is buying me some bleaching cream. That was my goal, my first paycheck. Some bleaching cream and some Hagen Dodge ice cream because my mother used to never share with me because it was so expensive. But um, I think we're here. It's, we're, I don't think it's a trend. I really don't think it's a trend. I think that they're finally waking up and realizing how beautiful we really are. I grew up in an all, almost predominantly white town. Caucasian people live there um, and I was always totally different from everyone else and it made me feel different and actually um, a young girl told me that she doesn't play with black children so that kind of messed me up also when I was younger um, yeah I was always different I had the curly hair I always wanted when picture day came around I asked my mom to get my hair straight and just to fit in, I don't know. I guess I was missing something. If you feel you're lacking something that other people have, once you have it, it makes you feel beautiful. Say when you buy something, you're like, I don't like that. You say when the person may like, I don't like that, but how she's doing that. So yeah, I think it's all about a decision that I want to make like, okay, we want to do it this way. I prefer to have the girl with the green eyes because she's gonna, she, she's gonna appeal to those 16 to 21 year olds. Everybody's gonna have a she's crazy. So yeah. Beauty can be defined in many ways, I think. But for me, um, I think nature is beautiful. And just humans in general, uh, more like personalities. I, I really, I mean, I don't think that people's features should define beauty, what they look like. Beauty's personality, so if, I think that if you don't have a personality, where is your beauty? I think beauty comes within, it's not just about being pretty. Dark is the new thing, you know, and I think it's going to stay that way. I really do believe that. You know, in the end, if you, if you want to be somebody that you're not, or you want to portray as to be somebody that you're not, in the end, you're only fooling yourself because you have to have the confrontation with the reflection in the mirror. You know, you're fooling yourself. You have to look at yourself knowing that all day you've been lying to yourself, acting like you were somebody that you're not. You know, I don't, I don't think that you can sleep like calmly and relaxed when you think about that, you know, and it's hard because I know that a lot of people, they're not happy. You know, if, if you ever watch that show Catfish, I like that show a lot. And I, I, I watch that, but then I, I think about it deeply. People create to be somebody that they're not why? Because they're unhappy with themselves, very unhappy. So I feel, you know, that people really need to do something about that. If you're not happy with yourself, try to make yourself happy with who you are. Think about your good things, you know, put down on a list. What can I do good? What, what, am, I, what am I sucking, you know? And, and make you feel uh, happy with who you are, comfortable like that. You are beautiful, no matter what they say. Words can bring you down, oh no. You are beautiful in every single way. Yes, words can bring you down, oh no. So don't you bring me down today.